Hi, my name's Rob Rose. Today I'm going to show you how simple it is to use a hydraulic core drill rig with my Easy Core drill rig. So we've just stopped here right now. We were transporting the rig. First thing I have to do is I have to loosen these wing nuts. As you can see, even with the wing nuts off, this is very, very secure and is not going to get dislodged from the base. A regular Reese two inch hitch on the back of a truck and we're waiting using the weight of the back of the truck to actually hold the portal rig down. In my, uh, in my truck I've got a 13 horsepower hydraulic power pack. I require 8 gallons a minute of um, flow for the uh, 2 inch to 14 inch core drill. So what I'll do here, switch the power pack on my hose out. We give these things a little twist so that they don't come to slot. Move them out the way. Here's the water. I've got a 20 gallon tank over here with a 12 gallon drawdown. It's a pressurized tank and there's a simple quick connect over there. That is your setup right now. I'll start the rig and we can start drilling. So we need to have a, a hole, let's say over there. In case I've got any movement here, what I need to do is I need to tighten down on these rotating studs. I've got four rotating studs on the base. So that is stable, but this is a self-leveling base, so you can see there's no movement on the portal rig at all. This is where I adjust my water. Switch on my drill rig. Obviously, I don't want to drill in a guy's yard here, so I don't want anyone to have to with me. The hole. I would move this thing back up to my water. Switch off my hydraulic power pack, turn off the hydraulic uh, pressure, and over here I would and we are good to go. Thank you.